between the end at Homestead and the beginning at Daytona. During this season, when the engines are silent, tracks pretty much snowed under, we reflect. We ponder the purpose of our sport, what its gifts are, what it teaches us. In our sport, there are innovators, builders, advocates, challengers, heroes, and an announcer now and then, all have a part to play. Some of us are inconceivably lucky to call these folks friends. I think we all call them heroes. And I'm feeling like an odd duck in a flock of fancy geese, let me tell you. Ken Squire set the bar and continued to raise the bar over the course of his career for anyone aspiring to work in covering motorsports. Many kids looked up to him and his work, and many admired his voice and ability to tell the story of auto racing. The world lost a good one on Thursday, but heaven gained an even better one. I'm joining the motorsports community today and offering my prayers to the family of Ken Squire, who we sadly lost this week. While I had mentioned on Wednesday that it was expected for Ken Squire to be in his final days on Wednesday, things do not get any easier having to start off one of these videos mentioning that. Ken Squire will definitely be missed. And again, we do offer our best wishes, prayers, and support to his family and his fellow friends in the racing community. With that being said, welcome to Danny B Needs a Minute. Let's get into the rest of the news. News from Live Fast Motorsports. You know, we were happy to have partnered up with them back earlier this year at Darlington Raceway to run the Out of the Groove podcast party bus. Reported on Tuesday by Stephen Toronto, BJ McLeod, and Matt Tift were speaking to the media to give an update on Live Fast Motorsports plans for 2024. The plan for the team is to currently run part-time, focusing on super speedways and road courses. McLeod will run one team in the Xfinity Series as well and it's to be determined if it will be full or part-time. In addition to that, Matt Tift said that he is moving on from LiveFast Motorsports to pursue his own opportunity. LiveFast ownership group will be the McLeods and Joe Falk. Anthony Alfredo has also announced that he'll be moving to another Xfinity Series team in 2024. In a statement directly from Matt Tift, he said that it's time to move on, and I couldn't be more thankful for everyone at Team LiveFast for what we've accomplished over the past three years. I will always be proud of what we set out to do and how we worked with so many awesome people including drivers, partners, and team members. The business of racing is tough and while the competitive spirit will live on through my own racing, I can't help but look back at this venture as a huge success and only to kick off for more to come. Here's to what's next. Anthony Alfredo also had this to say in regards to his departure from BJ McLeod's team. I am very grateful for Jessica and BJ giving me the opportunity to help elevate their program this season. I will not be returning to their team in 2024, but I have some exciting new plans. I can't wait to share with you all soon. In ARCA news, Venturini Motorsports said that for 2024, Chris Wright will be back with Venturini for the full 2024 season in the number 15 FNB Corporation Toyota Camry. Having already sold off their NASCAR gaming license to iRacing, it is now being reported by Mike Straw that IndyCar has officially terminated its license agreement with Motorsports Games. This was widely expected by many within the motorsports community given the history of Motorsports Games, but now we have to wonder, will we ever see a console game version for IndyCar? In streetcar news, Toyota has recently unveiled their 2025 Toyota Camry with news that it will be released in only a hybrid edition. The redesigned Camry plus the news of hybrid only models makes many wonder, will the Camry continue to race in NASCAR or will Toyota look to pursue a new model? On the subject of model cars, Lionel Racing has been putting out some cool releases here lately and hinting at some great new schemes for the 2024 season. Particularly if you are a Hendrick Motorsports fan, they have been hinting at new schemes to be released very soon by Hendrick and Lionel with some sneak peeks at a special ruby red design that will run for all four cars at Martinsville next year. So far, we've been able to get a sneak peek at a little bit of what appears to be Kyle Larson, William Byron, and Chase Elliott, but the 48 of Alex Bowman still has not been given any sneak peek at all in any of the renderings for their paint schemes for next year. 
In addition to those cars, Lionel Racing has also unveiled Wave 7 of their NASCAR Offenix line for this year. And it will help commemorate the 75th anniversary of NASCAR with 8 unique champions from the sport's 75 years of history. Those drivers highlighted will be Bobby Allison, Dale Earnhardt Sr., Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, David Pearson, Richard Petty, Thera Waltrip, and Cale Yarbrough. Speaking of reveals and unveilings, Richmond Raceway has revealed their new logo for next year, and this is leaning in towards most ISC-owned tracks going to a unique branding that is identical for each track in a way, with unique styling for each individual track, much like what Speedway Motorsports Incorporated has done. Richmond Raceway's new logo has got mixed reviews online myself. I thought it looked like something screaming when I first saw it, but that's just my opinion. Keeping on track with announcements from racetracks, Daytona International Speedway has announced there will be a new name for the Spring Xfinity Series race. No longer will it be the Beef It's What's For Dinner 300, it will now be the United Reynolds 300 at Daytona. So, I have to say, the United Reynolds 21 car of Austin Hill, while he was already a favorite due to his success on Super Speedways, being the same sponsor, he's for sure got it locked up, right? It's in the bag! And speaking of NASCAR sponsors, Adam Stern reported that Body Armor's chief marketing officer had a lot of good praise to say for Ryan Blaney on his first NASCAR Cup Series championship. He was quoted as saying we couldn't be happier for Ryan, his entire team, and family, and Team Penske. When we first partnered with Blaney in 2017, we always knew he had the makings of the NASCAR champion. Furthermore, to see it come to fruition, along with all the excitement around it over the final few weeks of the season, it's been really special for the entire Body Armor family, and we couldn't be more proud to be along the ride of him throughout the journey. In addition to that, Body Armor did release a very clever video with Ryan Blaney, showcasing that they are proud of the partnership, and this is one of those partnerships that I would not be surprised to see for many more years to come. Keeping with news reported by Adam Stern, he shared some updated renderings of what Speedway Motorsports and architect firm DLR Group envisions for a renovated Nashville Fairground Speedway and what it would look like as Speedway Motorsports continues to try to finalize a deal with local municipalities. You can take a look at these photos and it looks very modern. I, I have to say, I think I like the way this looks it looks like it's going to go very well and even showcasing the new apartments that are going in right beside the Speedway and the soccer stadium. And finally, the last story of this video and probably one of the more bigger stories that's come out over the offseason so far. As we speculated back on Wednesday, it has now been confirmed Josh Williams has parked it in Colleg Racing. He will be driving the number 11 next year for Colleg Racing in a move that has made everyone across the internet very happy. Congratulations to Josh Williams and Colleg on your new partnership. Looking forward to seeing what comes of that. Maybe we can see him park it in victory lane next time. That'll do it for Danny B Needs a Minute. Thanks so much for watching. And if you are new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe for more of my NASCAR news from a quick standpoint. And we appreciate you stopping by, and we do hope that you have a great day. Bye, guys.